Hi, welcome to my channel, What Kathy Thinks. Please like and subscribe. I'm on the phone with my dear friend Dee from H-Town. Hey Dee, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? Uh, you know, trying to change my whole life with the YouTube channel. Dreading winter. <laughs> huh? I hope it goes wonderful. You and I could have plenty of conversations that would make clarity. <laughs> I think clarity is one word. What's up? What's hilarity? No, what not what's hilarity. I know what hilarity is. Hilarity is you and I together in a store with a credit card. Um, what's up with you? <laughs> <Starbucks>. <laughs> What's been happening? Car got stolen. What the fuck do you mean the car got stolen? We went out on a date Friday night. We went to Miller Outdoor Theater. Brian had never been there, you know, because she's from New York. <laughs> and uh, when we, we parked in the zoo parking lot along with everybody else, and we came out after the show was over, and the car wasn't there anymore. The Stang? The Mustang, yeah. The Shelby Cobra. That we cruised around in for a whole week in March? Yes. That very car. So, but the insurance adjuster gave us a rental car for 30 days. And we were looking into buying another car, but they said wait until they close out this one so we wouldn't be stuck with two payments. Uh, they didn't know if they'd be able to find it or not, they said to give them some time to find the vehicle before we try to go purchase another car. And while we were talking about looking into getting an SUV, um, Brian found out a couple days ago that he's getting laid off from his job. Holy shit. Things yeah, were looking so good. Position, so. Things were looking so good, you've only been married four months. I know, right? <laughs> Is this happy ever after? Uh, I hope so. We're gonna, we're either gonna, you know, kill each other or grow old together. Older, we're already old. You've had some hard times, you just had some medical issues, you had to pay a whopping deductible. Yeah, my uh, my daughter's dog took my my thumb off almost. It shattered the tip of she shattered the tip of my thumb, and it looks like my nail was might grow back. That was an important thumb. Mm. My dick sucking thumb. Your dick sucking thumb. <laughs> I'm not ambidextrous, okay? I'm very right handed. <laughs> And you had to pay what? You had to pay a huge deductible for surgery on your dick sucking thumb? Yeah, $3,000 deductible. Now, you wouldn't have had this deductible if you weren't married, right? Because you wouldn't have had insurance on your husband's policy? Exactly. So, it's a good thing to be married to a guy who understands that you have a part time gig, suck a dick? Yeah, he likes it. He's kinky, little fucker like us. So. <laughs> I mean, it worked. He knew what I was when he met me. He said, okay, that's cool. I just want to listen in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine by me. <laughs> It'd be nice if your thumb hadn't gotten bit and your car hadn't gotten stolen and your guy hadn't gotten laid off. What's wrong with the world today? <laughs> I don't know, girl, but I'm just sitting here trying to figure out how to make some money. I put, I posted an ad, and I'm trying to... Hush! You're out on bond! <laughs> Things ain't right. <laughs> no. I love you. I love you. I wish you were able to go on your vacation. Well, now we're gonna get laid off. When he got, he did get a job though. He told me today. No shit. He got enough job. We're now at. Start Tuesday, hopefully. Is it better? Cause you know what I found. 
A lot of times when it seems like things are falling apart, something way better is coming along. You know, a uh, job that... It's falling better. It, it's a pay cut. You know, but it's at least going to pay the bills. Maybe it's initially a pay cut, but maybe there's going to be more opportunities for more pathways to higher growth. That's true. And also I maybe... Say, I said, you know, it's better than no job at all. At least you have this job until you can find the job that you want. You know, don't stop looking. And also maybe the insurance at this new job will have, you know... Something yep, less. Deductible. Right, <laughs> right. A three thousand a three thousand dollar deductible is outrageous. It's outrageous. A friend of mine just had medical treatment, and they didn't tell her that she was going to have a seventeen hundred dollar deductible responsibility for the treatment, which turned out to be completely ineffective. And they didn't warn her at any step along the way that one, it was not going to be covered in any substantial form at all, or two, that it was it was considered ineffective treatment, which it, it was considered ineffective treatment, and three, that she had no basis for appeal. So she's charged, she's being charged $1,700 for something that didn't work. And now she's being told that because of the condition, her health is compromised and, and she's in danger. And, and this shit just pisses me the fuck off. You know it pisses me the fuck off. I see it as the, the criminalization of poverty, the enslavement of the lower classes, and, and the uh, elimination of humanity, basically. And, and, and I just love that you're willing to talk to me about this. And I, and I love that we're friends. I have to go to work at my minimum wage job which I have to go to so that I have Medicaid benefits. So that's why I have this shit ton of makeup on us so I can do this side gig in the hopes of getting famous. <laughs> I'm bringing... We'll make it. I'm bringing you with me, girlfriend. <laughs> I love you. I'll see you soon. All right, I love you too. All righty, I'll talk to you later. All right. Like and subscribe, folks. Tell me how, I sure will. <laughs> Crazy girl. You know, I don't speak technology, what the fuck? We'll work on that. Yeah.